Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Porsche, where today we have, I believe, possibly nearly done all the stuff for Dana. Oh, I need to change all of those lamp posts. If I got it all on me, the conveyor belt. Yes, I do. Ooh. Okay, let's go grab a commission first then, because, you know, we don't want Higgins beating us or anything like that. And we'll have a look what's in our mailbox. And then we'll go and pop these uh, bits and pieces in, into place and see what happens. Exciting, exciting times. Oh, I love my costume. This is the best one so far. It'd be nice if I could recolor. I'm not sure if I can or not at the moment. I'll have to see uh, I'll have to see about all those things. There's a lot of things I need to do still. You guys are saying you want to see the gun in action. You want to see... Um, I don't know why I'm here. Higgins is going to take all the commissions. Double S. Four electric furnaces. Sure. And a water tower. Well, you're not taking that one. You're not getting all the good stuff. Right. Four electric furnaces. I really hope this doesn't have some ingredient that I need to chase all around down for. Oh my goodness, that would be so bad. But I'm loving these, like, super duper amazing opportunities to get, um, to get money. I'm going to have that upgrade in no time. Oh, from Carol. Dear Builder, the sewing machine you've made me is incredible. I'm able to complete each garment much faster now. I think I'm also able to update a clothes, uh, sorry, update a clothes attribute with this machine. Why don't you come over and see for yourself? First tries on me. That's what you guys in the comments were telling me about, how Carol now can kind of change stuff for me. Make it look different. Okay, so let's quickly have a look at what we need for an electric furnace. So I'll, I'll pop one up on here so I can constantly come back and have a look at it. Because you know what I'm like, I like to see it in this view for some bizarre reason. So we need an industrial furnace, a grinder... Steel plate, steel shell. Okay. I may even have enough stuff for the steel shells, but I need to check that and see if I need to put on some more um, carbon steel bars. So if I make a... How many do I need to make? Quite a few, don't I? Oh, I shouldn't have put that up there because I need to make industrial furnaces. Um... Grinders, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to make quite easily. Industrial furnaces. Marble plank, steel plate, and industrial cores, which is resin. Okay, we'll start off with three industrial furnaces. Oh, what I want to check first is oh, how many steel shells do I need for this total? Two each and steel plate times four, so I'm gonna need at least the bare minimum. That's it four of them, isn't it? So it's just eight. Eight steel plates. Do I have that? I only have one steel plate left. I don't have that many carbon steel bars either. Right, okay, carbon steel needs to be like proper on the menu here. Proper on the menu. Right, it's already being made there and there. But I can make more. And more, possibly. More and more? 14 more over there. Yeah, whatevs. Whatevs. I'll take a day. But we'll constantly be having a, an influx of carbon steel bars. If I need to, I'll take these furnaces away to, to make them, and I'll take I'll just make three grinders, take those three furnaces away and, and slowly replace them. That's something I could do. Marble planks as well. Oh man. No, we're going to the desert. I'm too, being too indecisive here. Oh my goodness, I am. Because I want to make these, I really want to make these furnaces, but at the same time, I really, really want to go and do this quest. I worked hard on this, so... Yeah. 
Get some beastie commissions though. Four of those electric furnaces. Mind you, I could give I could actually give them the one I've got. <laughs> I could make three and give them the one I've got if I'm one short, because let's face it, I barely use it. I, I make a massive batch of aluminium and then I don't use it for ages. There's the conveyor belt. And where's the next bit? That's the transmission. Where are you gonna go? Uh that go up the top? Oh yeah, I think that goes up the top. Let's go up on the lift and uh, pop that in. It's very exciting. I'll have to take a little photo of myself on the uh, conveyor belt, won't I? The wind was howling. Oh, we had this massive storm around here uh, recently, today. It was really, really bad. Our bins got knocked over and everything, and there were leaves like all over the place as if it was autumn, only in the middle of summer. Wow. I can't believe it. My business is officially off the ground. Thank you so much, She Lab. I'll make sure you get basic or delivery package for free. Yay! Peach's amulet. Wow, I'm getting all sorts of really cool recipes. I'm so happy with that. That and the sapphire ring. Let's have a picture of me posing near the conveyor belt. Just in case I can't get anything good out of that. There we are. Take for dough. Just in case I can't get anything good out of that little cutscene we just had. Might be able to. You never know. I might not even use it. We'll see. We'll see what I decide. What else happens in the, the episode? So people are saying that this is a really good way to get your horse out of the mine as well. You just have to like sprint up the conveyor belt. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. I like, I like a lot. So did I get more money for that? Yes, we're 141. We're only like 59k away from upgrading our land. Then I've got to upgrade the house again, which will probably be another massive amount of money I've got to save up for. So good job we are getting these commissions that give us 18,000 a pop, because, uh, yeah. Need them. Okay, so. Next on the list. Four electric furnaces. So the first thing I think I'll do is make four grinders. So I'm going to tell my horse to go back home. I'm going to check the, all the other things that I need. So steel plate and steel shell, that's all going to just be carbon steel bar. Um, steel plates, I could just put straight onto the compound grinders. So I could just make 10 steel plates over there. That'll do me for now. Because I may have to wait for quite a few things. Um, so I'm just going to make three grinders and I will put them in the, the box there. Oh, hang on. That's a compound grinder. Oh, no. I don't even know what that is. It's getting taken away regardless. Comprehensive grinder. I've been using, I've been basing this on the wrong thing. Oh, good grief. I probably do need lots of stuff like that though. Let's just have a proper look. Electric furnace. Oh, I'm a total muppet. We don't need half the stuff. Oh, that's absolutely fine. We'll probably need lots of industrial cores. But yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. So we're going to need like 12 steel plates. I'll put on another 10 steel plates over here. We use them all the time. I see no reason not to make a whole bunch of them. Oh, we're out of iron. Right, I'm going to take off one of these. I don't think we're going to need quite as much carbon steel bar as um, as I think as I thought there. So I'm just going to take one away and reclaim the iron ore so I can make some more steel plates out of it. I think that would be the more useful thing. Like 16 over there. And we can always get some more iron in the mines. Okay. Charcoal. Industrial core, steel plate, hardened clay. We'll need to make some of that in the blender and steel shells. 
We always need carbon steel bars for steel shells, but I don't think we need as many as I was making. Welding rods, we may have some already. I'll check. What's the welding rod situation? 25, that should be enough for now. Could put a few more on, because we are using them up quite a, at quite a rate of knots here. So we'll put on another 50. Because we need quite a few of these things. Right, charcoal. How much charcoal do we have? Like, zero. Oh, 48. Oh, we're fine for that then. We're going to need 16 hardened clay. Let's see if we have enough stuff for that, because I think that might be something where we need something that I need to go and get. Going to need loads of resin for that. Okay. Could make 12 resin there. 30 minutes each. That'll be six hours. Okay. In the meantime, I'm going to actually go and manually get some other resin, because we're going to need... For the hardened clay, three per hardened clay. We can make two at the moment. I might need another blender, might actually be a good idea at some point. I think I'll make do for now, but I think that definitely is something I need more than one of. So I'm going to need 16 hardened clay. Uh, so 16 times three, 30. Oh, we're going to need loads. We're gonna, gonna aim for like 50 or something we're making 12 so yeah we need tons more i need to chop down half the tree farm for this so that's what i'm gonna do poor tree farm i feel so sorry for the tree farm but it's its own fault for not giving me resin as part of the wood bundle once i've got the last land upgrade i will be drowning in money so Watch this space. Now I'm going to put my resin into my hot bar so I can see how much I've got. I apologise, this will be a very um, tree chopping down heavy episode. I'm going to keep going until I have around about 40 to 50 resin. And I think that should be enough. No, it won't be enough because I'm going to need two industrial cores per thing. And hang on, let's have a look at my handbook quickly. Two industrial cores. How many? I know that you need a certain amount for industrial cores as well. I think we might be better off aiming for more like 70 to 100. I'm going to need to chop down the entire tree farm. You know this. And I possibly might even need to go to the hazardous ruins as well the uh, so a collapsed wasteland i always get them confused for some reason and then if i'm still i'm still struggling for wood after that then we're going to go to wow industries and uh, chop down all of their trees and then there will be no trees left in porsche but i i think we can do this I'm chopping trees all night. The the thing that's probably going to actually be my my bane will be um, the sheer amount. I've only got two dried apples on me. When did I use all of those up, or have I put them somewhere? Because I did have a lot. Um, but yeah, what will probably be my downfall will be my actual stamina. But it could just be my. It could it could be time? I could run out of time first, or I could run out of stamina first. I'm not sure which. But even if it takes me a couple of days to do this, as I say, eighteen thousand, not to be sniffed at. This is a big reward, so the expectation is that a lot of work will go in. I mean, this is a bigger reward than most of the. Most of the really big um, quests that I've had haven't had rewards like this. I think the most I've had has been something like 10,000 gold, maybe 20,000 at the most. So 18,000 is a big prize. It will allow me to do big things. 
One thing I might want to do is to go back and put all of my tree sap back into the blender again. And let that go overnight. But yeah, I am loving these new commissions. They are amazing. I'm sorry, tree farm. Let's hope I don't need cocoons anytime soon. Mind you, I'm picking up loads from just chopping these down. Oh no, I had to leave a big stump there. You know what? I'm going to take some apple slices just so that I can cut the stump down. I hate leaving things half done. Okay, we, um, no, not whisper. Okay, not whisper, let's go. Oh, mushroom. You didn't get many of those. I pick them up when I can see them. Right, so we've done lots and lots and lots and lots of uh, resin gathering. Hopefully that should be enough to make a few industrial cores, make a few of the things that I need. Oh, I love my workshop as I'm coming down here. Oh, so nice. I love coming back here, checking on everything. Okay, so let's make the six industrial, no, the eight industrial cores we need. Let's see if we can make those. Oh, I just forget where they are. I think they're here, aren't they? Yeah, they're. I can make four. I need five resin per. Is it the bloodstones are going to be running out of? It is, isn't it? So we need to go and get some rocks bashed tomorrow as well. So we've got four of them. Got more resin done there. Um, but I will make even more. Or should I just make ten hardened clay? Let's make the resin, actually. 11 hours worth. Okay, so we're only at 9 o'clock, so that should be done, like, by middle of the day tomorrow-ish, I think. Um, I do think there's something we need to look at tomorrow is upgrading. Apparently, I can... Um, do some really really cool things on the upgraded assembly table and i think that's something i really need to be looking into now i'm getting these sort of commissions because that if i've got to make four of something big like an electric furnace i definitely think that's going to be needed okay so we could make the first one i've got enough industrial cores to make one um, I don't have the hardened clay, I don't think. I only kind of make that as I go. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pull this apart and I'm going to make a second blender. Because I'm, I'm needing it. I keep, especially now you can't just make the resin without a timer on it. That was something you could do before. You can't do it now. I don't think blenders are a huge thing either. Uh, simple circuits, two grinding blades and copper bars all right then let's make these grinding blades two grinding blades will take a bit of my resin but i think it'll be worth it will allow me to make more resin effectively and let's then build it and we'll put these grinding blades on Copper out of the metal chest. Anything else I can put away at the moment? Not really. Wow, I don't have many copper bars left, do I? Good grief. The sooner Dana can start sending me copper, the better. I think it's enough, though. Yeah. And then two simple circuits. Put copper away. Few bits of wood I could put away as well. I'm trying really hard to put things away when I don't need them. Got some fabrics I could put away as well, especially if I can see a lot of something. Like I can see there's a lot of fabric in here. 
Most of the things I'm seeing in here, though, are things like ingredients and the things that I'm getting off my animals and stuff like that each day, so not so bad. I'm going to put that fertilizer into the helper chest just because it might help a bit. Also, I don't know how the animals are doing right now. Oh, I did put some stuff in for the animals. That's really good. I'm glad about that. Very, very glad about that. I don't want my animals to starve or anything. That would be mean. So two of those circuits. Yay, second blender. So I can make hardened clay in one blender. Which I'll pop behind here. I don't think this will be the final position of my of my blender. What? Ah, there we are. I don't think this will be the final position of my blender, but for now, as long as they're working, that's the main thing. Milk tea. The scent of milk mixes with the scent of tea, giving rise to a unique aroma. Well, I always have milk in my tea. Or well, unless I have had tea that's been made purely with milk, warmed up milk, and then you put the tea bag into it, and it's kind of almost like a hot chocolate in consistency at that point. It's kind of nice, so. So I can make, at the moment, out of the resin I have, nine hardened clay. I'm going to need, eventually, let's get the electric furnace back up. Four times four, so I'll need 16 eventually, but um, we're making the resin for it. And tomorrow, what I'll probably need to do, because I think we'll possibly have enough resin, is to go and get enough bloodstones to make the rest of those industrial cores. So let's see how many I'm going to need. I'll just go to bed in a second, I think, because I've run out of stamina anyway. But I want to know, this is the recovery machine. Why am I here? In fact, is there anything I can make here yet? No. But it's kind of good that I can just shove all these into chests and it'll tell me how many of each of the pieces I have look. So much easier. So I know that there's nothing that I've got a full, full set of yet. Except for there's a couple of things uh, that like, I've got a whole weird glass jar and things like that that I need to put into the museum when I have time. Which I never do. So it'll never happen. Maybe if I get through all of this content quickly and then we can like do a bit more relic hunting. Uh, so yeah, sorry. Uh, just your cause. Three bloodstones per. I need another four of them. So I need another 11 bloodstones from somewhere. Much else, much else mining of rocks to be done tomorrow then so let's let's get into bed so that we can do that because i have no big quests to do now and I, I, one thing i definitely think i want to do as soon as a and g is open is to as i say have a little look at all of the upgrades and things in there just to, just to see if if we could possibly upgrade that workbench thing workbench thing assembly table that's what i mean Stop making up words, Shelab. Someone on one of Avax videos recently was like, oh, you're, you're such a good YouTuber, you always speak eloquently and never make up words. And I was like, hmm, I wonder if they're talking about me there. Uh, okay. Take all the resources off of there. Um, be open in just a second. So let's, yeah, let's start off the day in a and Constructions. We're going to see what new things they've got that I can upgrade or build. And then maybe in another episode, June, we'll do uh, llama traps and house upgrades and, and all sorts. I don't know how big the house is going to be. Good grief. I hope it's not much bigger than this. Right, so for a level 4 home, we need 18 aluminium plates, 100,000 gold, 18 concrete, 9 wooden pillars. So nothing particularly awful. That'll just take a bit. Um, I would rather have the land upgrade than the house upgrade, I think. First. However, I think the assembly table upgrade is going to be something that will be more like it. Because people have told me that apparently the, the house upgrade, the house gets bigger and looks more impressive and everything. But then inside you get a, a second story with like one little room in it. So you, you're building the house massive and massiver and massiver and massiver, if that's a word. It's not. I'm making up words again. You're building it bigger and bigger and bigger, and then you're not really getting much on the inside. 
Uh, so I can understand that. I still want to know what this little bit on the the end there is. That looks like it's meant for some sort of car or, or something to come out of there or a plane or... I, I'm not sure. It looks like it's built for something that's not there yet, honestly. And I'm looking forward to knowing what that is. So anyway, assembly station three would require 50,000 gold. Okay, I'm happy to, to, to do that. 18 hard aluminium, a construction crane, and two silicon chipsets. We have that. We have that already. So I would need to make one construction crane and we'd be able to have it. Hmm. And I would need to take those with me. Now, a construction crane requires a lot of engines, but guess what I just got? Lots of engines. Oh, Albert, I like your hat, mate. Oh, my goodness. Is this what... Is this the result of the quest? Is this what you did to make yourself more modern and up-to-date? Because I do approve of the, the idea of a top hat, but I do think it's a bit small for you, mate. It is a little bit small. But I do appreciate the effort. I think it's very nice. I don't think it's as good as my new outfit, though. My new outfit's awesome. I really like it. Okay. So, new plan, guys. New plan. We're going to make a construction crane. While we're waiting for everything to be made. Um, I could make some more hardened clay as well. I could light queue that up with all the resin that's over here. We have much else resin. So I need at least another six, I think, to be made hardened clay. I won't overmake it. And I'll see what I need for construction crane, because I, I do think having the new assembly table would be really useful. And what I'm going to have to do is take away a lot of the... or just kind of really scooch up a lot of the... Um, the stuff around here because apparently it gets really really massive and difficult to place so I'm gonna just move a lot of stuff around to give myself room to put the assembly table down and then I'll be able to sort of see what I'm working with I don't want to make all this stuff and then not be able to actually place the thing okay construction crane what do we need for you pulleys we need lubricant steel bars steel cables hoisters which I can make steel frame times three, which I can also make. Do I have 16 lubricant? No, it's only four. It's only four. Don't be silly, Shelab. Tells you the totals. Don't get all confused again. Do I have any lubricant spare? I think I used every single bit of lubricant that I had. Okay. Okay, good to know. Good to know. We need to go mining for six, for sorry four lubricants in the the mines too. Also, we do need some more iron as well. But I don't think I'm going to use my. I don't think I'm going to use all of my um, stamina today for that. I think I will use my stamina today. Hulu barbecue. Oh, this is good. This means Higgins won't be taking um, commissions while I'm trying to do this this quest because it's a Saturday. That also means I don't have long to go and do the minigame. I like doing the minigame. Except when it's frustrating and then I hate it. I only like things I can do. Because I'm childish like that. Right. Let's go do the minigame. I like having the weekends off in this game. Not that I really take the weekends off, I just do loads of other things. Okay, well this is a really well-made axe, isn't it? Not. Uh, that's wrong. And that handle's like really bad. And uh, um, something wrong with that. Lovely stuff. Why do I only get 22 points? Why do I get differing amounts of points? I'm not sure. Okay, Warhammer. This is wrong. That's wrong. No, that really is wrong. The colour's all messed up on it. Oh, come on. 
Oh, so apparently that makes that colour messed up. That wasn't my fault, guys. That was the game's fault. See, I made two errors because of the the thing being wrong. That looked a bit buggy, honestly. Right, you're a floor, you're a floor. Uh, let's turn it around. Something about the handle looks different, but I can't quite tell what. There is something different there, definitely. I feel like there's something different up there, but I've made a mistake now. Oh, man. different I don't know why it looks different but it does it looks like it's a slightly different color I failed that one I knew I would it's just <laughs> I couldn't see it I don't like the oh well okay this looks slightly slightly better that looks like it should be a floor but then it isn't it's to, to there to put me off and that's not straight there. Amazing how sometimes I can do them in like 10 seconds flat and then sometimes it takes me forever and then sometimes I just can't find it at all. Maybe I'll get a robot today. Okay horse, let's go to... We'll start, I think, with the collapsed wasteland rocks. Oh, well, actually, no, we could start with these rocks, couldn't we? I think the um, bloodstones come from, like, all of them. We're not particularly looking for, like, nitre or topaz or anything like that, so we can find bloodstones anywhere. I think Amber Island's quite good for them as well. So we need 11 bloodstones. Hmm, not really finding many here, even on quite quite big rocks. Oh, there's one. Okay, so now I've got a bloodstone. Let's um, pop it in here. So I can see how many I've got. And we'll just keep collecting them. There's another one. Oh, another two. Fantastic. I'm just going to go for the bigger rocks. Because they do tend to have more bloodstones in them than the smaller ones. We've already got five out of the eleven we need, which is really good. So we've made it all the way up here, so I'm going to go down to Amber Island. We'll go and get all the rocks across there and see how many bloodstones we can find down there, because we found five here. If we can find another six down there, that's all we need. Um, if I have spare stamina, I'll use it in the mines. We'll go get some iron and we'll also have a, a little check around for lubricant. So I'll go straight into the abandoned ruins too, I think. Wrong way, horse. Can't trust you to take me anywhere. Right. I like this. Blame it on the horse. Oh, but then that reminds me, oh no, 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 the thoughts are coming to me, oh no, the thoughts of black beauty, and, and, and the time when, when black beauty was, was out with one of the, the gentler masters that black beauty had, because as black beauty's life went on, and I think it's a very, um, like, a very accurate sort of portrayal of what a horse's life was like back then, like, the older and less kind of effectively useful the horse was perceived to be, the worse its life got. Um, and that was really sad. But anyway, the bit that it reminds me of in Black Beauty is when 
I, I think it might have even been ginger, but I can't remember. I don't think... Yeah, maybe it wasn't. But there was a horse anyway, and Black Beauty's master was like... I think... I think she was pulling for... Um, some kind of, like, delivery or something like that. Or it might have even been when it was the cab driver. I can't remember. But anyway, the story... The story I'm telling this so badly. The story goes that basically the, there was a horse that was trying to go the correct way home. So they were trying to go the way that they always went. And then, like, their master was being really mean to them because... And we've got barely any bloodstones there. That was rubbish. Let's go to the Clark's Wasteland. Sewage plant ruins. Hmm. Got a new name. But anyway, yeah. So the, the horse was trying to go the right way. And uh, Black Beauty's owner was like basically telling off this horse owner because the horse was trying to be really clever and go the right w the way it normally went, and they were like, whipping this horse for going the wrong way. So yeah, so now when I blame my horse for going the wrong way, I always think of that and think of how horrible that like horse owner was, and then I I feel like I'm some sort of terrible person. So yeah, yeah, that that's how my mind works. I can make myself guilt feel guilty over the tiniest thing. Comment down below if you're the same. <laughs> you can feel guilty over the tiniest thing that you say. Because you feel like you're abusing a horse even though it's like a computer game horse. It's hard to be a sensitive person, guys. It's hard. It's hard life. It's even harder when you work in a call centre. Which was my fate for a good few years. In that sort of environment, bullies are uh, very much appreciated. I will leave it at that. That's oh yeah, we we are there with the bloodstones already. Loads of them down here. Great. Well, that's enough. Let's go make those industrial cores then, shall we? Before the DD stop uh, closes for the night. We'll have most of this made this episode. And I, I do still feel, even though it does take a couple of days to do some of these things, that it's definitely worth it. 100%. Tell you what, I've got like, some statistics open from um, a website on the other page. Apparently, my, my YouTube channel is the... 662,000th most subscribers in the whole wide world and 1.401020 video view ranks so there's like one and a half million channels on youtube that have more views than me crazy isn't it million people with channels well a million and a half nearly that have channels with more views than i do wouldn't even think that many people had YouTube channels that they were actively doing things on. It's just insane. Everyone's doing it now. Anyway. Ooh, we've got, like, um, a better fishing rod here, guys. Let's make one. And then I'll, uh, I'll get rid of my old one. It's a classic fishing rod. Like my beginner's fishing rod. I could sell it for 30 or I could just abandon it. I honestly think for the sake of 30 goals, I'm actually just going to abandon it because otherwise I will forget which fishing rod to use and use the wrong one. So I want to make sure 100% that I'm using the correct fishing rod. Okay, cool. Very nice. A warhammer, I can sell it for 600 gold. I'm kind of thinking it might be a good idea and then I'm thinking, oh, but what if I need it? I'm such a hoarder in this game now, and it's it's conditioned to me to be one as well. Let's go. Wow. We don't have enough resin. Oh, there might be some more resin on the blender. Let's have a look. No, there isn't. No! No! We've 
we've got all the hardened clay we need. How much more resin do we need then? Got enough for... I need four. I need three more of these guys. So let's see how many we need for that. I have seven out of five. So I can make one. And then I'm going to need about 15 minus two, 13 more resin. Well, horse... Guess we better go find some trees then. Probably, let's go back down to Amber Island and chop the trees while we're down there. Nice, nice big trees down here. Maybe we could get some more resin. Because I want to get it tonight. I don't want to be waiting hours for it. So we'll just get it right now. That's two. Three. So I need a total of, um, oh, how many total do I need? It was five per and I need four, so we need 20. So I need another 10. I don't know if I'll be able to chop down enough trees with to get 10. However, because this fell on a weekend, it actually didn't hasn't even really put me behind. I don't know when Dana's going to start giving me, um, like, metal and stuff in my box. <sighs> Not enough stamina. What's 16? I have 29 tree sap as well. So I just need four more. Take these apple slices. See how much I can do with that. Seventeen. Okay, you know what? It's nearly time for bed. So how about we put another couple on in the in the grind, you know, in the blender, and uh, we'll, we'll get three more from the blender, and then I know I've got enough for all of those furnaces. I mean, as I say, I could have just taken up this furnace if I'm really, really short. But yeah, let's just make another few in this blender. Yeah, sure, I'll make eight. I might need some tree sap, but like tree sap's a lot easier to to find than uh, resin, and I don't need as much of it. I tend to need it for quality leather, and that's it. All right, guys. Um, what can we do for another two hours? Another one hour? Two hours, actually. Yeah, it's two hours. I've not done anything with my horse today, and I feel kind of bad. Always feel bad for that, don't I? Electric furnace build. So I need steel shells. I need hardened clay. We have that. I think we're one short on the hardened clay. We need to get that made then. You return, please. Getting in my way. So I need charcoal. I need these. Put away my my fishing rod and my uh, my my pickaxe actually I suppose. I kind of need my drill and my pickaxe. I use them both interchangeably really, depending on what I'm doing. Okay, I need the hardened clay. I've got the industrial core, the hardened clay, and the charcoal. So I need steel plates and steel shells. A bunch of steel plates over here. Lovely. Uh, let's make some steel shells if we can. I'm hoping I've made enough stuff for the steel shells. That's been slowly sitting there being made all on its own. So steel frame times two. I can make steel shell times two. But I think I need three of them. What am I short on? Carbon steel bars still. I mean, I am making them, but... Oh, okay, that's probably why. There's a massive stack of them over here. A massive stack of those welding rods. Awesome. Should be able to make a few more of them now, I would imagine. Unless I pass out before I can. 
Nine steel frames. That is more like it. Now, we've made two steel shells. How many do we actually need? We need 12 total. Okay, so we need another 10. And I can make another nine. I'm pretty sure it's nine I can make. Okay, yeah, I'll need one more, but we should have that by the morning. So by the morning, we should have plenty of stuff to do all of that with. So let's put these onto here. So steel shell, steel plate, industrial core, hardened clay, charcoal. Retrieve. Industrial core. Charcoal. Hardened clay. Steel shell. Steel plate. Number two done. Number three. Steel shell. Hardened clay. Steel plate, charcoal, I'm just short. Oh, so we'll finish that one off in the morning. And if I need to, I'll just grab the electric furnace in my yard and that will be the fourth one. And I'll just make another one to replace it. But there we are, that is that done. So um, the electric furnace commission is very, very nearly there. That will be another 18,000 goal towards my 200,000 that I need. Unfortunately, it's going to take me 50,000 goal to upgrade the assembly table. So that's going to put us behind by probably like four of those, no, not four of those commissions, maybe like three of those commissions worth of money. So it's like every time I get closer to expanding my land, um, something happens to put me backwards again. But you know, we will get there. Especially with commissions that give me 18,000 a pop. So yeah, I'm going to be trying to do as many of those as possible and uh, hope for the best. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more my time at Porsche, please subscribe. I will let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime though, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.